Hello everybody and welcome back to Friend with Jason and AJ playing The Thing on the Xbox. What's up? What's up people? All right. I am excited. I really don't like I really don't like that we said what's up. I feel like <laughs> like those people on YouTube like like it's your boy raging asshole here with three <laughs> tips. <laughs> raging asshole. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to start these videos. It's very awkward, I think. That's the kind of intro you have after you have one of those uh, stock After Effects templates that you get. Oh, just shit. Just like, <laughs> and it's got your name spinning around. Yeah, it's got and the And then you just come in. All those you just come in with the noisiest microphone of all time. Just shh. Yeah. Hey, I, uh, there, guys. This is a uh, raging asshole here. I with paid my uh, friend on uh, YouTube. His name is Wee Peebs. And uh, he made this <laughs> sick intro for me. I love how the loading screen like freezes briefly on the word ass, ass. <laughs> assimilation it is pretty funny so this game is a sequel to the john carpenter film and i still don't know what the hell this dude is saying right here oh no man you don't look too good Oh shit, look at this monster! Yeah, it's the titular thing. Oh fuck. Okay. So yeah, so this game is a sequel to the John Carpenter film from like 81 or 2 or something like that. That I just yeah. saw for the first time yesterday, so it's very fresh to me. I enjoyed it quite, quite a bit. Which so I was excited to play this blows my mind that you've just seen the thing <laughs> that blows my mind that you watched well yeah 1982 1980 yeah i think yeah. So, i think that's it something like that um the thing god damn that's a good movie it's one of my favorite horror movies it's very good it uh it plays i feel like it plays with lighting and suspense very well oh it totally does and that paranoia of like not knowing who's who. What's the situation? Not good. What do you see? Not a goddamn thing in this storm. Have you found anything? Well, your transmitter's down and everything else is foobar. What do you mean? The base is gone, Colonel. It looks like massive explosives damage. Any clues here are gonna be like finding a needle in a haystack. Understood. Do a recon, see if you can find anything that'll give us an idea what happened. I can try to get the chopper back to you within an hour, but visibility's falling fast and the report for your area is not very good. Okay. We'll make a sweep and report back. Roger. Meanwhile, I'll check up on Alpha Team. Oh, Blake. Go Just up, remember go. it's 40 below out there. America. We both know exposure could sneak up on you. Keep America your team together and get them <laughs> to shelter as quickly as you can. <laughs> Roger that. Blake out. Let freedom ring, baby. <laughs> uh, as you play through the first four levels, text pop-ups like this one will come on screen from time to time to explain different parts of the game to you. You can skip them by pressing the B button, or turn them off entirely by pressing the button to bring up the pause menu. What a weird Old tutorial exposure. screen. What a weird <laughs> tutorial screen to be like, hey, just so you know, these things will pop up, but you can skip them if you so desire. It's like, what yeah. the fuck? You can turn it off in the options menu, and it only happens for the first four levels. So I, I guess the game is level based. I guess most games were back then. Cold yeah. exposure. It's 40 degrees below zero in the Antarctic. So whenever you're outside, you'll suffer from the cold. An exposure meter, blue, at the bottom of the screen will show you how much time you have until the temperatures begin to actually harm you and take away from your health. Oh shit, we can oh, freeze to death? Oh my I guess God. so. So as I was about to say, but I didn't want to interrupt the cutscene too, too much. Uh, time frame of this is, I believe, one year after the events of the film. As a matter of fact, I've got the box. What does it say? Oh, uh, John, there's a John Carpenter quote on the back of it. that says, this is one intense action horror game. You got to play this one, man. It'll blast you against the wall. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't have the actual uh, year that it takes place on the back of the case, but I do believe from reading, I think it's one year after the events of the film. So, oh. let's expose the cold. 
Oh shit, objectives. Uh, as you play the game, you'll be given objectives. These appear in the top left hand corner of the screen and they are color coded. Green text shows that an objective is still active and orange text means an objective has been completed. You can check your status of all. Of oh, I guess I was supposed to scroll down, not press A. Oh, uh, fuck it. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, my God. Ooh, this is what the fuck are these controls? Uh Oh, <laughs> hold on. Does this it control is like shit? The left analog stick is what the right analog stick would be on most games. Oh, God, kinda, no. Kinda. Area secure my ass. Hold on, let's see. Oh, can you swap it? I'm hoping so. Good. Oh, no. See, right now the right stick is sidestep, which is weird. Move, sidestep, zoom, and that's turn. Type C is what I want. Also, uh, inverted control on that. Oh, you're an inverted kind of person? Hell yeah. Oh my god, are you the... Alright, so... That's thrilling like, that's first, like... Thrilling first episode <laughs> stuff right there as we go through the options menu and read the tutorials. Yeah, right. But, uh, oh, it's, you, it's necessary. It controls way better. Uh, kinda. Okay, I totally forgot yeah, to start I a did. timer. Okay. I, I, I've got a pretty rough idea. Uh oh. Okay. Blake, you need anything repaired or even a simple bypass and I'm your man. If any of you take on any damage, get back to me ASAP and I'll help you out. I'm not carrying any dead bodies back. Sounds good, man. I'm locked, loaded, and ready to make shit dead. How did I know he was gonna <laughs> say that? <laughs> I feel like I knew that he was exactly going to oh, say that. The, the guy in the middle, the medic dude, uh, sounds like a budget solid snake. Not solid, a uh, liquid snake from Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> um, unless it is the guy that did Liquid's voice, because it sounds almost just like him, but he's just worse at voice acting in this game. Yeah, maybe. Didn't get enough pay. <laughs> didn't get enough pay they didn't for pay him. Game, so he didn't, like, he eh. just kind of phoned it in a little bit. Uh, squad member communication. Your squad is made up of three different character classes that you can tell apart by their headgear. Soldiers always have a tough camouflaged helmet on. So engineers don't go anywhere without their... Wait, where did it... Engineers don't go anywhere without their trusty cap. And medics look to keep warm in a beanie with a red cross on the front. The members of your squad are very much oh alive. They blink, they fidget when they are bored, and they think for oh themselves. Oh Be careful how you treat oh them, as they are all trained veterans. Even if they are unarmed, they, just, they won't hesitate no. to take you down if they decide you are acting suspiciously. <laughs> they will fuck? also communicate with you both verbally and with the use of icons that appear over their heads for an explanation of the overhead icons. Refer to your field manual. To interact oh with your God. team, press the Y button. The Faces of any members of your squad close enough to receive orders will appear to show you their current physical and emotional state. And you will also see a group command in the center <laughs> of the faces. This is the follow or stay command. Highlighting this will, and pressing the A button will tell all the squad members to uh, show them to either follow you or stay where they are <laughs> as you move through the... God damn. Highlight around the screen. A box in the upper left hand corner of the screen will give you information on what you currently have highlighted and available controls. Squad member trust. No! <laughs> Shut the fuck Hold up. On. Oh my god, it keeps going. Do this uh, do they not understand? Show, don't tell. This is God, when did this game come out? This is 2002, <laughs> baby. Right? Holy Hold fuck. On. Imagine if like the original Super Mario Bros. game started like this, and it's like before you jumped on Goomba's head. Just so you know, oh, you have to get yeah. the right altitude to jump onto the Goomba's head. The Goomba is this, this brown mushroom character. Oh my god. Okay. So their emotional states. Green trusts you, orange is suspicious, uh or doesn't trust you actually. You no, know, we just read And a red novel, means right? they see you as an enemy. Simple enough. We just read a fucking novel. You know, if it's We don't have to worry about trust if we kill everybody but me right now. <laughs> then who can betray anybody else? Wait, AJ, can you hear me? Um, I gotta figure, figure out AJ. what I can interact with. Yeah. Okay, wait, hold on. We have to stop. I keep, I keep losing you. Oh no! Oh what? God! Oh, Prince farted. 
Whenever you see that the hand icon, that means that you can do something by pressing the B button. So look for it when you're exploring environments or dealing with your squad. Oh, God, that's a lot. Um, damn. You also see a picture of a hand and a yellow star at the bottom of the screen that tells you that you can fix this junction by yourself. To fix it, press and hold down the B button. You will see the yellow bar start to fill up. When it's full, the repair is complete. Oh my you can God. release the interact button at any time to stop fixing the junction box. If you return to it, uh, we'll pick up from where you left off. Okay, I'm not crazy. This is awful, though. All the reading. It's a lot. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> oh, what the shit. fuck was that? I don't know. That was an explosion and a half. It was just like a little computer screen, and I walked in and it exploded. Whenever you've got low enough health, or any of your squad members are hurt bad enough that they go into the man down state, oh, it doesn't matter of time until they die. If they die, it's like, does the game continue if they die? Probably not. Bring your medic within close proximity. Heal them. The medics, plural, you meet throughout the game, can heal any member of your squad with the exception of themselves. Okay, so we can get our boys to uh, to do stuff for us. If you'll notice this continuity error where the door is closed <laughs> behind me, the uh, we were having we were having some technical difficulties. So uh, we 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 tried to splice that in seamlessly for you guys, but I just realized I left the door closed. <laughs> and also, I'm at full health now because I came over here and the medic healed me up. Oh, but uh, we seem to be in good shape now. Okay, well there we go. Nobody, all the te technical problems. I was just saying to AJ that uh, we should start a show, and it's technical issues the show. Just just have an alternate channel for everything that we cut out of this video, out of this series, or oh out of this god. channel. Oh my god! Yeah, we would have content for like a thousand years. Uh, how do I crouch, mate? Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> how do I crouch? <laughs> um. Okay, okay. Get four of those. I don't know what that is. I feel like maybe it's supposed to be a flare. Yeah, I don't want to waste anything. Hold on, let me go back to the... What are the controls in this game? Crouch is... Left trigger? Got it. I love that the... Got that the, the clicking um, sticks, they actually have little... The and the controller menu it has a, like a little icon of like the sticks being clicked in. Yeah. <laughs> before like they were called what are they called now? Like L three and R three. Yeah, L three and R three. Well, I don't know. Maybe they have a different name on the Xbox. I just refer to everything based on the uh, names on the on PS the two, three, and four. Yeah, for A, I say X. <laughs> <laughs> and then Nintendo is instead of X, I say B. Dude, anytime I play like the Switch or some shit, like it throws me off so bad. Oh, where yeah. the uh, where the A, B, X, and Y are because it doesn't make any sense. I mean, I played Super Nintendo and like I played the Nintendo systems growing up, but I guess I never really intern. God damn, isn't this where I just came from? Maybe not out there. Why does everything explode? I don't know, but. Because this is the action game. The action game. Oh, Oof. remember this? Oh, oh. Remember the pool table scene? I do. Maybe. What happened? What was the pool table scene? I don't Maybe I remember it and don't specifically remember that there was a <laughs> pool table. I don't know. I'm just mentioning it. <laughs> Oh, I'm just being an ass. I remember it. <laughs> God damn it. I remember a scene with the table and I was like, is it a pool table? I think it's just a table. <laughs> I, I think I remember. I ah, God damn. Now my um my my memory of the thing is not going so well, but I, I think there was a pool table in the in the thing. Maybe like in the rec room or something. It, yeah. no, no significance other than it was there. Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh shit. This shit's falling apart. Fucking run. There, Dude, that guy's a his, jump. <laughs> that guy's a jump gun button, out. right? That guy has his gun out pointed towards you. He's like, I'm gonna Maybe shoot you. Maybe he doesn't you. trust me. Yeah, he's like, I don't trust you.
Burrows and North. Where's my other guy? I'm supposed to have three, right? Yeah, you're supposed to give your, your health guy, the med kit guy, the guy that's uh, Liquid Snake. Yeah, where are you at, Liquid Snake? Did you get stuck out here somewhere? I'm gonna freeze to fucking death. I don't have time to find him. Hold on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> you are. Oh, locked, locked doors. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Uh, some of them are just playing locked to require a key. A door in front of you is a locked door, and you'll need to find the key in order to open it. The key to be nearby or far away on a table or oh in the God. hand of a corpse. Whenever you find the key for a locked door, simply return to it, and it will open automatically. The key to this door is hidden underground. What? Oh, Look, it gave it's... me a... It boosted up my oh, guess cold that. resistance. That's spoilers, though. Now, just telling you where the key is. God damn. <laughs> I remember this thing and these blue lights. Yeah, I remember the blue the, lights. Yeah, uh, the thing makes very that film makes very good use of red and blue. The scene right here makes me very happy with the red and blue. Yeah. The movie makes very good use of those colors. And with that, uh I know we've, I feel like not enough is I almost want to go longer on this episode because nothing happened cuz we had so many issues and difficulties, it's hard to even know no, how long what? we've recorded for. We'll just make the first episode longer for those special those <laughs> special ones watching. Um, Maybe I can at least get to, like... So I keep wanting to look down. There's no looking up and down, or at least not yet. I mean, I guess I could just free look, right? Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Here we go. Speedrun tactics. Uh, I was about to say, whenever you free look, you can still run, though. But you can't. I just fucked up. I just ran <laughs> off the edge and free looked my way down. Okay. Oh, my God. That's amazing. So, you fuck. I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh so hard, but that was hilarious. <laughs> you fucking were like, we can just look around and then fall right into the pit and hurt yourself. Oh, is there a cut scene? What the oh. Hell? I remember this bullshit, except for... I guess it's a pretty mangled. I was about to say, they dynamited the shit out of this is, movie. I don't know, and I don't care. Looks like a goddamn UFO to me. This shit gives me the creeps. Yeah, yeah, we're not alone in the universe and all that crap. Check it out and move on. Wow, this guy's like, mm. hardcore. He's like, I don't give a fuck about There's aliens. Fuck you, I'm a white, I'm a white American. Wait, that was a black guy. Oh, was it the black guy saying it? I thought it was the white guy. I oh, wait, hold on. Which line? It. Which line? Oh, he was like, oh, I don't care about... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have aliens, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. The white guy was the shitty dismissive one, yeah. Even though there's like a UFO right in front of him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's like, like a oh, literal... There's whatever. a literal unidentified flying object right in front of him. Yeah, he's whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, whatever. What the fuck? Yeah, man. right? It's like, dude, it's it like fucking you're, you're, aliens. You were sent here. You were sent here to investigate. Like, weird shit has happened in this whole, like, oh my god, I almost shot that guy. I pressed the shoot <laughs> button and he did not shoot the gun. I pressed fire and he did not shoot the gun. Maybe there's a safety method. Ooh. Maybe it's, there's a safety method. Maybe it, maybe it won't let me shoot my teammates if they're, like, happy with me and not distrusting, you know? <laughs> yeah, maybe. But my God is like, yeah, I'm a white American. I don't give a shit about aliens. Get off my land. <laughs> oh, a tape. I'm going to hide this tape when I'm finished. <gasps> Kurt Russell. If none of us make it, at least there'll be some kind of a record. The storm's been hitting us pretty hard now for 48 hours. We still have nothing to go on. One other thing. I think it rips through your clothes when it takes you over. Windows found some shredded long johns, but the name tag was missing. Ooh. It could be anybody. Yeah. We're all very tired. Were we supposed to fall down there? There's nothing else I can do. Just wait. RJ McCready, uh, helicopter pilot, U.S. Outpost North 31. What we were supposed, what was supposed to happen, I do believe, is I was supposed to run out through the snow and then come down via this path. Oh, <laughs> instead of falling. Okay. <laughs> That makes sense. Wait, is somebody radio in saying they needed help? Who was that? 
I, 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 don't, I don't know. Is it my other boy that's not with me? Oh, maybe you have to go back. Maybe the guy is the, the med kit guy. Yeah. Uh, it's like, I want to I wanna run around all out here, but I feel like I'm going to freeze to death. Oh, okay. It doesn't actually let me run that far. Oh, this is just okay. a wall? Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's cool. That's Kurt Russell's, uh, uh, what's it called? Kurt Russell's tape that he lives, uh, McCready, his character yeah. name that he leaves for everybody and get us in case something like this were to happen. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I think that shed out there was the uh, tool shed where they, uh, that I was running from back over there, uh, where they hooked uh, Dr. Blair. They, they, they shut him away in there because they didn't trust him. Uh, and then, oh my God, there's that fucking, it shouldn't be funny, but there's that hilarious, the way that it's framed is really funny. Because they, I don't want to walk in here because I'm afraid it's going to trigger the cut scene or something. But they, they, uh, was it Kurt Russell, McCready opens up the little thing so they can look inside the room and talk to him. Mm -hmm. And the framing is just him looking forward with a big coat on at the table, eating some beans out of a can with a noose right next to him. <laughs> and he's like, I'd like to come back inside, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I know what the scene was meant to portray, but I'm just looking at it and I'm like, the framing is hilarious, kind of, sort of, and I feel oh, I yeah. almost feel almost feel bad to say it, but you'd have to watch the movie. You'd get it. You'd get it. <laughs> yeah, I gotta rewatch the thing. That's for sure. The framing is on that scene, though. Just the way they open it. Also, it doesn't help that I'm sure he was a respected actor in that time, and I mean, I'm sure he's a respected actor and all like that. But Doctor Blair, and you may not have realized this, is uh is Wilford Brimley. Uh, Mr. Diabetes himself. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. He is. Diabetes. And, and I knew that watching the scene, so I think that may have also skewed my vision of what the scene was supposed to be. I <laughs> had no fucking clue. Yeah, dude, that... your sponsor, your, your stream sponsor is, uh, in the movie. <laughs> Our stream sponsor is in the thing movie. <laughs> Wilford, Br Wilford Brin Brinfley. The diabetes mm -hmm. is, yep. oh my God, I had no idea. I did not put two and two together. Also, that note right there indicates that there's a 50 to 75% chance of infection if you uh, encounter the thing. Oh. I've also picked up an adrenaline hypo in situations where squad members are suffering from extreme stress. Use an adrenaline hypo and then we'll calm them for a short time. To use an adrenaline hypo on a squad member, press the black button to enter your inventory and press the A button on the icon in the center of the screen to take you to your items. Move the left thumbsticks in the direction of the adrenaline syringe and press the A button. That is very detailed. I was just gonna take a nap. Dude, I can figure out how to use the items, I think. If I can get to the inventory, I can figure out the rest. <laughs> it really holds your hand. It's like, you know what? It's okay. Oops. Oh. Well, he probably needed that. Yeah, probably. Need that extra bullet in his wounds. Dude, you always gotta double tap. <laughs> oh, the virus has the ability to replicate the original biological entity, including including the clothing. I guess that is true. It does do that. It does. Advanced junction boxes. Whew. All right. So engineer has to fix these. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. There are two ways. <sighs> if your engineer is close enough to the junction box, the I can fix it button will automatically appear. Hey, what are you, what are you doing, AJ? You're not reading this. Are you not reading all of this? I'm trying to skim. I'm trying to skim it so that we can move a little bit quicker in the game. <laughs> so something uh, interesting was going to happen. Uh, the second way to have your engineer fix the junction box is to bring up your squad menu. Okay, it's called suspense, right. AJ. It's called suspense. There he is, right there. How do I enter? Oh, oh there we go. You did it. There we go. Sweet achievement unlocked. <laughs> How many gamer score do you think that was worth? That was probably like a five, five gamer score. Yeah, sounds about right. Oh, access code doors. Uh, <laughs> you do not have to make a note of these codes as Blake can remember them when you found the access code for a door. Okay. Access codes are usually just a series of numbers and may not be obviously labeled. 
right, well, so guys, thank you, you for watching the first episode. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel this like this is we gonna just... be a long first episode. Yeah, as it stands already. So uh, maybe we should just call it there. Well, we had some technical difficulties. We'll cut it up in a nice watchable format. And uh, yeah, that's that's the thing. Part one. Wow. We we hope to see you next episode, ladies and gents. Um, yeah, just think. Just remember, it's the thing. It's a slow burn, just like the movie was. The movie takes a little bit too. Res- <laughs> oh, God, that's awful. I'm getting a slow burn in my nose. Prince just farted again. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. <laughs>